Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can keep up with all of my new videos. Because today we are gonna be talking about wig grip headbands. Now I know this is something that's been talked about for quite a while, but lately there have been some newcomers and people kind of wonder, well, what kind of wig grip headband will work best and which one should I buy? Because honestly, all three of these are on Amazon, but not all may be worth the money, right? So we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of all three of these wig grip headbands. Now, one, as you see, has lace, one is the clear silicone, and one is just full suede with Velcro closure. So we are going to test out each and every one and say, which one is worth the money and what's gonna give you the best results. So, with this one, you wanna use the border that doesn't have the stitching on the bottom. And what I do like is the fact that it is adjustable. So, you want to set it as tight as you need it, but not too tight so you don't get a headache. And you wanna set it right behind the hairline because with this one, although it's not as hideable, if you will, it is pretty flush, so it's not gonna be very bulky. We just want it to lay down the wig for those days where we don't wanna use as much adhesive or maybe no adhesive at all and not have to worry about slippage. So I'm gonna slide on the wig, see how it does. All right. So I'm just gonna adjust her. And just want to point out with pretty much all wig grip headbands, you are not going to get a complete, um, you know, flawless install. Like it's not going to secure everything, but the point is that it's not going to come off, right? It's not budging, she is, staying put and that's what we want so for a wig like this you see the sides are not down but the top is pretty flush you could put it on in those lazy days let the hair fall to your face and you're good to go right that's all that we're looking for so this one is my favorite one for the adjustability the comfort and the fact that of course it grips your wig what we want it to do now, let's talk about the one with the lace. So this particular wig I'm using today to show you guys is a double layer fake scalp. So because of that, I'm not really too concerned about the lace, but this does really come in handy for those wigs that you need the extra little bit of a camouflage. Because although this color I like choosing because you can put a little powder um, concealer or foundation to help match your skin tone so it doesn't stick out in your parting. Um, sometimes the lace you just need, it's better. And it is very thin, it matches very nice. So same thing again, you're gonna put her on and make sure it's right over that parting. And you're good to go. Like I said, these side tabs will not be down. You can still use whatever adhesive, or if you're like me, then your hairspray and your gel. And that's it, you're good to go. For a little extra step, you could just put down your um, baby hairs a little bit, and that'll give you the extra stay. But point is, it's pretty snug, right? You may get a little more sliding, I think, because of the fact the lace is um, in that gap. But she'll still do the job. You won't have to worry about it going anywhere. Okay, so now the last one I really wanted to order just because I've heard it talked about so much. And I was just kind of curious, is it better than the original wig grip headband, if you will? Now, I just want to point out, this was not talked about, but it has these little bumps on both sides. To me, that's a huge con because it can be an irritant to your skin. 
Uh, it's not adjustable at all. You can get it in different sizes. And this one I believe was a medium. But right now my hair has been growing and I just feel like every time I slide this thing on, like it's gonna pull out every little tiny baby hair that I do have, which isn't much. So for the ladies that do have hair and the ladies that don't have hair, I really don't see it being a win for either. I think the, um, what do you call it? The idea on this one is that it's clear. So you would think it should be the most undetectable, but what I care about is, does it work? Is the wig going to stay put on your daily activities at the gym while you shop? Those windy days, like in Florida, we have that hurricane, what season? Whatever it is, you wanna make sure that your wig is gonna stay put, right? So here we go, same wig, same test from the sides. It's okay, no budge. In the back, we get a little bit of sliding if you see, but it takes like, several tugs. So I mean, for what you need it for, I'd say it works. It does um, camouflage under very well. I think a little better than the suede because it's a little more flush when you go to lay it down. But for the comfort, which is a really big thing to me, I'm not a fan. And why is because look, when I take it off, I only had it on for what a minute and I have these dots all along my head and anything that leaves an imprint on my skin, to me, it's a little bit sketchy, right? And I, the material, I just feel like I'm gonna sweat and then it's gonna be a mess. But it's up to you guys. I wanted to show you all three. Again, this one is clear. So yes, it should match for everyone. I think these even come in different colors too. So I mean, whatever works. This one for the lace is nice for your parting so you don't have to worry about it showing up. And then this one is the most adjustable because of that Velcro on the back, very comfortable, never had issues. And I use this one the most. I use this one every now and then. And honestly, I don't see myself using this one at all. So might've been a total and complete bust. But the good news is that all three of these are on Amazon. It's not very expensive. So for about seven bucks, if it's gonna hold your unit down and not have to cause you any extra work on those days where you just don't feel like messing with it then hey it's worth it so i will link all of those down below please let me know which ones you've tried which ones you like and if this video was helpful to you because that's what i care about most so until next time loves make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time bye